Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about the elastic potential energy. So, this elastic potential energy is mainly considered for a uh, spring. If you consider a spring, so this is a spring in a normal position, uh, it is not in a compressed state or elongated state. So, for this spring, the potential energy will be zero. And if you consider the same spring, which was compressed, the same spring was compressed, and how much amount the spring is compressed is, see this is the length, total length of the spring, and the spring is compressed up to some length or some distance x. So up to distance x it is compressed. So for compressing the spring to this state we are applying some force on it. So the spring constant of the spring is given as spring constant k equal to force upon the distance how much the spring is compressed force f by dx spring constant so we can define the spring constant like this the amount of force uh, which is used on the spring to compress it or to elongate the spring of a amount of x or uh, some amount of length x so that is called as spring constant. Now the elastic potential energy stored in the spring is given as elastic potential energy U equal to half K X square. So that is the elastic uh, potential energy stored in the spring which is compressed to amount of uh, X or which is elongated uh, some amount of x so that is given as u equal to half kx square and this elastic potential energy is defined as we can uh, define like this when a spring is compressed or elongated When a spring is compressed or elongated by an amount x, x is nothing but the displacement which is made by the spring by applying some force on the spring from its unstructured position, from its unstructured position. from its unstructured position and here if you consider the potential energy of the compressed spring potential energy equal to half k x square half k x square and if you consider the si unit of spring constant the si unit will be force no newton and it is nothing but the displacement so meter newton per meter So let us uh, discuss some examples for this spring constant. So if you take a winding clock or a winding watch. So for that winding clock or winding watch, uh, the spring, that means we will wind up the key to uh, make the time appropriate. So uh, that is one example for elastic potential energy. And if you consider any toy car which is having a uh, coil spring, so for that toy car also it possesses some elastic potential energy. And a bow, bow and arrow. So if you stretch it, stretch that uh, uh, bow, then that possesses the elastic potential energy. And 
a bent uh, diving board see while uh, diving into a swimming pool the diver will jump from the diving board so when uh, he tries to jump the board will be bent so the bent board also will have this elastic potential energy so like that we can consider some examples for this elastic potential energy and now <coughs> see in olden days uh, more people use this type of watches which are having a, a spring by giving uh, by winding the spring uh, the time will be accurate but nowadays is it possible to use such type of watches or such type of mobiles which uh, see in that the potential energy is stored and that potential energy will be utilized by showing the appropriate time but now is it possible for a uh, mobile using like that definitely our answer will be no what is the reason is the coil the coil spring which is used in the watch uh, it will have an energy density energy density of uh, energy density of 8 kilojoule per kg but if you consider a battery which is used in the mobile the average battery in a mobile uh, which is the lithium ion battery uh, it will have an energy density of 500 kilojoule per kg that means which uh, the energy is more large which we are using now so uh, it is not possible to use the spring coils regarding these mobile phones or uh, watches nowadays used as the energy density is uh, we are consuming the energy very more 500 kilojoule per kg whereas in uh, that uh, uh, watches which are used in olden days that is uh, 8 kilojoule per kg and let us consider one example for this elastic potential energy a trained archer is uh, uh, drawing the bow with a force of 300 Newton. He is applying the force of 300 Newton on the bow and the arrow mass is 30 grams. And how much the, what we call this, uh, the bow is stretched is some 0 0.6 meters. So what is the spring constant of it? So spring constant K equal to F by delta X that means force 300 Newton upon uh, this change in displacement of the uh, string is 0 0.06 sorry 0.6 so here we will get the spring constant as some 500 Newton so sorry spring constant no mu Newton per meter 500 Newton per meter is the spring constant and now if you uh, find the potential energy stored in this uh, bow that is u equal to half kx square so half spring constant k is 500 and x is 0.6 so 0 0.6 whole square so we will get after all cancellations we will get 90 joule 90 joule of potential energy is stored in the bow when that archer is uh, drawn some force on the string and now what is the velocity velocity of the uh, arrow so the velocity of the arrow in terms of potential energy u equal to half mv square and in terms of v we are v square equal to it will 2u by m and velocity v equal to root over 2u by m so 2 and what is u here u is uh, elastic potential energy that is 90 
by mass 30 grams now if you convert it in kilograms we will get 0 0.03 so uh, after all cancellations 2 into 90 by 0 0.03 some nearly 77.5 meter per second so the velocity of the arrow will be 77.5 meter per second the force applied on this arrow is 300 newton so the potential energy stored in the string uh, is uh, some 90 joules and the velocity of the arrow is 77.5 meter per second.